What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flare Podcast, episode 41. I'm your host, James Walter, and with me is the other host, Mr. Chris Garcia. What's going on? Chris! What is up, dude? Chris, dude, what is up? You know what's up? Halo 5 came out. Yeah. Yeah. Halo 5 came out, and Chris, what did you do instead? I bought a PS4. You bought a PS4. On Halo 5 launch day, Chris, why on earth would you do that? You told me to buy a PS4. Well, yes, I did, but I didn't mean to buy it on Halo 5 launch day. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. It's kind of a slap in the face to old Master Chief there, which he's yeah. getting plenty of. Yeah. He's getting plenty of slaps in the face. He doesn't need one from you buying a used PS4. Of course, it was used, so it's not it going to show up as a sale. Yeah. But still, Chris, so what'd you get? PS4. No, what games did you get? What I got with the uh, PlayStation 4 was it came with a free game, so I got Destiny. And Good choice. I Solid. Am tr- it takes some time to get into. The, you'll the get Taken King. I'm not used to that type of it, style. It takes, yeah. It's like an RPG shooter, so it takes a little bit to get into. You'll yeah. figure it out. What, what are the other games that are like that? Uh, uh, there's a lot of games that are like that. It's definitely one. It, like Borderlands is very similar. Did you play Borderlands? A little bit, yes. Borderlands had the same kind of idea, but Borderlands was not. I mean, that... It wasn't, Borderlands wasn't trying to take itself serious. So. Mm. so, I also bought yesterday was Battlefield 4, because I've played with James, and Good, I'm, solid choice. I'm comfortable with that game a little bit because of the Call of Duty. Solid, solid choice. The issue that I'm running into, and I figured out what the problem was, I didn't tell you yet. You didn't pull the trigger. Uh, that wasn't the problem. For some reason, the other controller that I have is not letting me shoot snipers and shotguns. I have no idea but why. But the other controller works The other controller works perfectly fine. So are you going to take it back? No. Why? Uh, it's a pawn shop. So? And I really can't say anything about it. So, so you can't say you stole me a piece of crap. Well, it works for everything else. So? It's still a piece of crap. Yeah, it's true. I might do that. Um, I mean, he has it a PS4 controller probably, right? Yeah, he probably And just swap it. I'll see what I can do. Um, Tom, otherwise you can turn him into the Brio of Tobacco and Alcohol and Firearms. Say he's selling illegal guns out the back. Don't do that. That's no. mean. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Battlefield 4 is definitely a great game. Solid choice. So why'd you, why'd you go with Battlefield 4 over Battlefield Hardline? Mm, it was. I gotta know. It was cheap. I, I picked it up for about $24. Okay. And then it was, I've already played it at your other apartment when you lived in the mm-hmm. other place. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I was it has a really in. solid campaign, I will say yeah. that. Okay, good. Very solid. Get past that first mission, though. The first mission, you're just like, I don't know what, what, what they were doing. But I get past it. that first mission, and you'll be it's like, oh, solid. I see now. It's, it's Since I know I already know how to play it, I'm still trying to get adjusted to the grenade being on the other side. Same thing with Destiny. I'm still trying to get a hold of where the uh, melee button is. It's on the completely other side. It's on the... Uh, I don't even, I couldn't it's, tell it's you, not, I just do it. It's not on R3. It. Usually I'm used to R3, but now it's on the uh, L2. Button. Is it L2 or R2? It's one or the other. I think it's R2. Okay. I think R, I think it's R2. Okay, it's one of those two. But I'm not, I, I honestly, I don't know, because I just do it without think. Like, I play Halo, so I'm playing Halo 5. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I turn it on, the first thing I do is I turn it on Bumper Jumper. Because that's how I've always played Halo with Bumper mm-hmm. Jumper. Except in Halo 1, and it wasn't a thing. But otherwise, I've always used Bumper mm-hmm. Jumper. And so I turned on Halo 5 and I just instinctively turn on Bumper Jumper and I'm playing, no problem. And I'm sitting there, I'm in like two missions and I go, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be playing Halo with Bumper Jumper anymore. Because I always play Halo with Bumper Jumper. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking, maybe I should leave default so I can like, because they're more similar to like how Battlefield and how Battlefront's yes. controls are going to be and how like Destiny's mm-hmm. controls are. And like, so I like switch it to that way for a mission. And like, I got through the mission fine, but like I was constantly trying to jump and I was throwing a grenade. And I was trying to reload, and it was like doing the jetpack boost. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, nope, nope. I, for some reason in Halo, I just I have to play a bumper jumper. Even though it puts your jump on a bumper, and my grenade's in the wrong spot, my punch is in the wrong mm-hmm. spot, my zoom's in the wrong spot. Everything is all wrong, but it's so right for Halo. I don't yeah. know why. I just I got to play Halo on bumper jumper. One of the other reasons that I bought a PS4 is because James told me that that's what the, ma- the majority of the time we will be playing Oh, I, is PS4. I, I pretty much play everything on PS4 except, except Halo. for Halo and Rock Band. And Rock Band, which I don't really play Halo or Rock Band. So, I mean, so what our plan is is when Star Wars Battlefront when comes out, Battlefront comes out like I'm going to buy it. Two weeks now? Mm-hmm. I think two, we're like weeks, two, three weeks away. 17th to 16th. November 17th, I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I'm going to buy it right off the bat, but I'll Dude, buy it within a week. Just pre-order it. Get that pre-order bonus to get the new maps early. Okay. Just get that pre-order in there. 
Do it online, download it. Easy peasy. Okay. So I think I'll do that. And uh, is that a Tuesday it comes out? Yes. Okay. It's a Tuesday, I believe. Um, it's a week before Thanksgiving Tuesday. Okay. So. I will probably. I told the guy I would come back and pre-order it. Pre-order it. Put five bucks down or something like that. At the pawn shop. No. At GameStop. At GameStop. Just, just buy it on the Sony's online store and download it. I want hard copy. No, just download. Come on. Then you have to put the disc in and out. It's great. I'm going like all digital. I've decided. I don't trade in games, so there's no reason for me to have the disc. True. So I'm going all digital. I, I mean, I do have a 500 gigabyte, uh, you know, hard drive. I have two terabyte. I upgraded mine. Wow. Two terabyte. I can just install to my heart's desire. It's great. I love it. My Xbox is like way full now because of Halo and Rockman. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to like uninstall probably, I don't know, the Master Chief Edition probably because I probably won't ever play that since the online code for it is just yeah. not working. Uh, I'll probably leave Titanfall on for a while just because like every now and then I do pop in and play that. I think once it's full, Master Chief will be what goes, unfortunately. Okay. But uh, I got Halo 5, so I don't yeah, need Master Chief. I, I, I guess we need to talk about some other games that I, you yeah. think I should try out. You got to try out Helldivers. Okay. You got it's by Arrowhead Games. It's a great little twin stick shooter. I think you'll really enjoy that. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. Um, let's see. I don't know. We'll think of it. There's, there's some. There's a lot of stuff. You gotta get that PlayStation Plus. Okay, you got PlayStation Plus. Yes, right? I just got it. You get free games every month. Two PlayStation Four games. Sometimes three or four, so depending I on. Paid for it. Yeah, it's like a fifty dollars a year or something yeah, like that, right? That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every month there's gonna be free games. You gotta go on and check. There's two always for PS4, but sometimes there'll be more if they like have crossed by with the PS3 or the PS Vita free game also. Okay. Go ahead and just go onto the web store, the uh, website I'll show you. Just go on there and get all the free games for PS3 and Vita anyways. Because okay. sometimes they'll have cross by later on okay. and then you'll get it from having it already. So just get them all even though you don't have a Vita or PS3. Pro tip. There, there was a lot of other games that they had. I think they had a game called Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs was by Ubisoft. It was a pretty good game. Okay. People really liked it. It was pretty interesting. Oh, I didn't play it, so I can't say. I think I think my roommate's gonna go order um, some games. Uh, I have like Assassin's Creed Unity on disc if you want to borrow that. Okay. Yeah, I um, love Assassin's Creed. I played it number two. Unity was three. Unity was okay. I have Black Flag, which is actually Brenton's copy, but you okay. could probably borrow that if you ask. Okay. Because I do saw that for some reason. That's fine. Um. So yeah, I think Trent's gonna order some games from Redbox and just to try yeah, and yeah, see yeah. what we want to order. Uh, but um, yeah. WWE Two K Sixteen came out. Okay. Came out yesterday. I think it came out yesterday. I of course I have two K fifteen though, so if you get two K fifteen we could just play on. I don't really do play some sports wrestling. Games, Come on, right? it's wrestling. It's not sports. It's wrestling. Oh, yeah. It's sports entertainment. There you go. Anyways, Chris Since since I did bring back Cloverfield in your in Red Dead yeah, Redemption Xbox three sixty, that means you I I'm eligible right, for Right, you can have another bar right now. Because right, you brought back my game that you've had for like six years. It's been two years. You've had Red Dead for a while. Uh, Three years. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say three years. Yeah. Been, I haven't had, had, had my, game for I've had my years, Xbox for three years. You did have it for a while. Anyways, because what do you say instead of talking about Halo Five and PS4 the whole show, which we could do? Well, at least we we knew we had but another topic Chris, to talk about. We're not combo starters. Come on. Definitely. Not. We got other things to talk yeah, about. We got great things to talk about. But how much time? Fritz and Isaac can be like sitting there yelling at the YouTube because they're watching. <laughs> oh, it's at eight thirty right now. Oh, we right. Time. We're gonna go through these stories. Um, since I recently adopted a dog, you did. my right. roommate, my yes, roommate did. did, he's taking care of her, but, um, I decided to throw in a pet story here. Um, we adopted a shepherd beagle mix. She, oh. She's a sweetheart. Uh, so we're going to be picking her up next week. Uh, but this one is going out to New York. There's a soup kitchen out there that has provided meals for the homeless and also their pets. Cause I think this, this uh, soup kitchen has realized that man, uh, you know, dogs are man's best friend. Also, dogs need food too. Yes. Uh, so, you know, they say it's one of their priorities uh, is to feed the humans and feed the dogs as well. They're, it's in movies nowadays and and you see it all over, the, you know, that the, the homeless do have pets. And I've seen, they a, lot, do. I've seen a lot they of stories. I've, I've seen a lot of stories where they, they, um, they, Give more to their pet than what they need. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like it. something to help you know get them mm -hmm. through the day. Yeah. So the soup kitchen, what does it feed the dogs um, or the pets? I guess well, it could be like a cat. They 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 also don't do just food. They do uh, receive basic basic medical services like vaccinations, spaying, neutering, and dog licensing. Uh, and dog licensing. Yes, mm -hmm. and twice a week, Collide, uh, the Collide, the company that does this, serves a special weekday meal for humans and animal families. Um, cool. Steaks so, all around? Yes. No, probably not, probably. but... Uh, but the dogs, they get steaks, probably. Yes. Steak-flavored food. Chopped up steak. They get lamb chop flavored. 
Uh, Which is weird. We have our dogs flavored food. I, they're, I think they're, they're very strongly focused on, you know, that I think these pets are the only thing that most of these homeless people have. And Definitely. that they keep them sane. And, you know, uh, you know, I think they, that's one you of know, the reasons. Dogs, the pets are interesting. They're, like, they're there for you. It's you relationship. Know, pets just, yeah. like, they like it no matter what. They're very strange. That's why I've got a dog. So Domesticated animals are they're very odd. That's why I got a dog, so I feel accepted. Well, you know, you have all these YouTube people and the listeners and the meerkatters and the po- and the periscopers. Down Periscope! I didn't see that movie again. Man, that movie was so good. That was an old movie. Old movie. So funny. Though. Okay, so so pets being fed in New York. Cool stuff. What else do you got? Well, who's your favorite Avenger? My favorite Avenger. Uh, I, I hate to say it, but actually it's like Captain America. Okay. Like, I hate that because he's like, you know, the generic, like, Old right, school. you know, but I don't know, just, I've always, like, had, like, Captain America, like, I had, like, this like, Captain America action figure, and, like, for the longest time when I was a kid, I was, like, the only Marvel superhero, well, I had a Spider-Man, so that's not true, and I had Dr. Octopus. Okay, so I had a few Marvel, mm-hmm. but, like, Captain America was the only one that I was, like, this is, like, Marvel, like. Original. Because Spider-Man was, like, Spider-Man to me, he was never in Marvel, he was just, yeah. like, Spider-Man. Uh, so, I don't know, Captain America, but Iron Man, of course. Everyone likes Iron Man. Okay. I can't really say that I like a specific one. Uh, you, you probably like a Black Widow, right? You like Black Widow? Oh, I mean, if you want to put it that way. I'm probably. just saying, yeah. I know your type. I mean, yeah, but as far as a an Avenger, it would probably be a well, toss She's up. technically an Avenger. Yeah. You you like Agent Coulson. Is that his name? Who? Agent Coulson? The guy who died in the first one, but not I, really. I do like his style. He's very, you know, just He's not chill. an Avenger, though. He's no. just part of S.H.I.E.L.D. He's part of S.H.I.E.L.D. I do like, uh, in Captain America, the other guy that gets his wings. Oh, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I, in the end. You saw Avengers, this, Avengers 2, right? I haven't. Oh. I need to. I'm going to. Almost. Now that I have spoilers. a DVD player. Almost has some spoilers there. That was so. Close. You have a Blu-ray player, I do too. like him, yeah. You gotta upgrade to those Blu-rays now. Gotta do that. Get that HDMI out from your mm-hmm. uh, PS4. Get those Blu-rays. You know, now we're looking for another TV because that 32 inch is not working for us, so we're probably gonna look no. between a 40 and a 50. Uh, like 100. You gotta go 100 inch. We found an 80. 80 is good. For like 20 in a row. That's not bad. <laughs> do you know anybody who saw a TV? No. Going back to the vendors, Robert Downey Jr. You I talk guess about him a lot. About 80% of people love Robert Downey Jr. And Most Avengers. people think he's like the movies. I mean, he definitely is what carried them because like Iron he has Man the most one, Iron Man movies. Iron Man 1 is what made the Avengers possible mm-hmm. like in a sense. The jump start. It, it really jump started the whole Marvel cinematic mm-hmm. universe honestly. So we uh there's we, that. I mean, he does better things than just movies honestly. And honestly, he's a cool. He's a for, pretty cool dude. For his type, you would expect him to be push off like don't bother me, don't. Yeah, don't, yeah, he's, but he's, he's not. A, he's a pretty cool dude. He he's not like how he is in the movies. If the news is to be believed. Yes. Which it is the news, so you know. But we have a Instagram user Vicky, 7-year-old son Daniel, who is a huge fan of the superhero, has uh, cystic fibrosis and unfortunately received some harsh words from a bully about a week ago in the efforts to cheer up her son. Uh, she took uh, to Instagram and explained her son's situation. She tagged Iron Man star Robert J- Downey Jr. hoping that he would reply and make Daniel's day. Um, Daniel could r- really do with some l- little lift at the moment after a, a child at school has told him that all children with c- uh, cystic fibrosis die. So oh, it's that's pr- terrible. It's pretty harsh. Um, so Robert Downey Jr., uh, being a superhero that he is, responded in the past weekend in the sweetest uh, way with a picture of himself in a, t- a Tigger costume, along with a very special invite. Uh, this is for Daniel, who was having a rough day recently. When I'm in the dumps, I'm found a little get up to be helpful. Um, so he invited him to the L.A. premiere of Captain America Civil War uh, as his guest, uh, which is actually really cool. Uh Oh, really? That is really cool. Yeah, I think that's amazing. Um, that comes out in, like, May, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think all Marvel movies usually come in May. Uh, some come out. I think Captain America Winter Soldier came out in, in April, actually. Okay, I think you're right about that. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, hands... Well, that, that's really cool. Thank you, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, yeah, Robert Downey Jr., we seem to talk about him a lot, doing stuff like that as Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Um, which is kind of strange because I think after Captain America Civil War, he's out. Okay. Like, I think that's the end of his contract, and I'm pretty sure he said that he's he's done. Okay. Um, 
a lot of different reasons why people think he's done, but basically he said he's done, I think. So, so we'll see. So you think that Robert Downey Jr. in the movie, or, you know, as an actor, is the same thing as Taylor Swift as a singer? Um, As far as, like, how they interact with their fans? Yes. Yeah, definitely. I think he definitely at least gets that reputation. Now, mm-hmm. whether it's true or if it's just when it happens, it gets picked up and all the negative things don't get picked up, mm-hmm. I don't know because I don't keep up with celebrity gossip kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But he definitely has that reputation of being um, very in touch with his fans. Who who else was like that? I know there's a lot of celebrities uh, that are like that. that Don Paul Ryan. I don't know who that is. Lady Gaga. She's like that. That's Lady Gaga's real name. I don't remember her name. What did you just say? Well, Paul Ryan, the guy from uh, Fast and Furious. Paul Walker. Paul Walker. Thanks. I do know who Paul Walker. Is. Paul Walker. He is not in touch with his fans anymore. Paul Ryan Walker. Is that his name? Maybe. I don't know. I think I confuse some people. I just know I think that he you're was making like things that. up now. I think I am. I don't really watch Fast and Furious. Well, that's too bad because Tokyo Drift was a really good movie. It was. The rest of them were okay, but Tokyo Drift was really good. I think a lot of movies end, in, end up in space. The last movie that they do is always end up in space. So I'm, wait, I'm ready for Fast So you think Fast 8 is going to be in space? No, I thought they were making a whole trilogy. So there'll be Fast 8 and Fast 9, right? I don't know, I don't watch the movies. I heard that they wanted to do a whole trilogy, but I don't know if they're still doing that or not because of everything that happened, so who knows. Um, did you see Furious 7? No. No, I, don't I didn't any either. Movies. You didn't see any of them? Not even Fast 1? Nope. Fast 3? Nope. Fast 5? Nope. Man. I don't really care for the movies. Fast and Furious 3 really was good, though. Racing movies don't really have... I don't get an appeal from them. Okay, same well, th- Fast and Furious like... movies aren't really racing movies unless you watch Tokyo Drift, so... Uh, uh, those type of movies don't interest me. Did and you then, see Drive? No. Driver? What Drive? Drive with Ryan Gosling? Yeah. No. That was really good. I didn't see that one either. Even Isaac really liked that movie. I mean, well, he's a critic. He is. He's a he does not believe it, but he is. He really critic. is. He's Every movie Sorry, we like, Isaac. he hates. No, that's not true. Not every movie, but uh, he is a pretty harsh critic. Sorry, Isaac. I know you're listening, yep. but you're Sorry. probably yelling at me this whole section because I just keep poking fun at combo stars. <laughs> I can't help it. They just I listen to their podcast and like I'm just they just they post on Tuesday, so I don't listen to it on Wednesday. So I just listen to it when we come into podcasts. So it's not my fault. Anyways, Chris, we say we take a break. That was a and good section. That was that was a good section there. We're gonna come back. Let's talk about YouTube. Okay, that's a little teaser there. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you need to come back and check out the other half of YouTube because it's good stuff. And we're also going to talk about something else, Chris. What else do we put? Oh, um, you're going to want to check it out. So come back. Yep. Don't. And wow, I'm now I've got myself all twisted up here. So don't go away. We'll be right back. 